got me and my 11 year olds out here working right now, putting down some new underlayment. And Daniel's favorite gun is the old Harbor Freight gun. And me and him do a lot of this where we install new flooring. So what we're doing here is we're going to compare a couple of different guns with uh, the Manx new model. We just took it out of the box and he still likes this one a lot better and I kind of like it too but we're going to give this one a shot so look at this video right here and I'm going to put up the page from Harbor Freight like this and then we'll go through and show you the video. with here is we're working with the Luan, which is the five millimeter quarter inch replacement stuff. And um, it's, it's perfect for an under, underlayment before you decide to put in new flooring. So uh, I'm sitting out here with my old broad Emma and, and her, uh, her mama. So um, I'm giving you a rundown here on the banks and the Chicago Central Pneumatic, or whatever you want to call it, Chicago, it used to be the old Chicago Air brand, Central Pneumatic Harbor Freight, and the Banks. Now, this one here has been a pretty good unit, and it will run um, pin nails as well as run staples, and right now, um, mechanically speaking, it's a pretty good unit. We're running uh, 7 8 staples, 18 gauge, to go into this floor, and they're the ones with a little bit of adhesive on them. Um, and they seem to work pretty good. But this is a brand new one that has yet to be opened. It's even dusty from sitting in the box. And I bought it a long time ago in case this one ever quit. Um, but I figured, you know, it might be a good time to do a little review video on it. This is the newest version of the Harbor Freight replacement for the old stapler and um, while well, Daniel gets this thing opened up and gets it ready we're going to uh, examine a few of the differences hey, here I got the nice one where it goes all oh, the nice full track loader for it so we do like that that's an improvement I do like the ones that they have here also but if you're not careful, these will jam more often. You gotta pop the tab loose here to get them unjammed. And I do like that trigger a little bit better than this one. This is a nicer trigger for it. And uh, it does have the, the center spring on it there. And that helps because this one here is a cleat. And that one there's a little more, you get better angles with it. So I kind of like that. Now, the difference I'm thinking between the two is it's quite obvious that the piston, and both of them have directional error. This one is just pretty simple. This one here actually looks like it'll blow downward and not as much on you. So that's pretty good there. It can get oil on your hands. But I'm looking at an obviously larger piston between the two of them, and I don't think they're gonna waste that much material just to do that. So this one here being a two centimeter piston, this one I think was supposed to be a 2.68. So that's that's significant when you think about being able to use even lower pressure, you know, to get the same results as the volume, and uh, might require more volume though. This one has a nice carrying um, case. Yeah, this one has a very nice carrying case with it and it comes with the allen wrenches for of course servicing your tool taking it apart if you need to and a little pocket for the book and i believe a uh, slight difference that i'm not seeing with this one is is it more compact or something well this one comes with no oil yeah I don't, did you see any oil, Daniel? No, I just... And there's like, there's not even, I don't even see an indentation for oil in here, in this case. So I guess they don't want oil to spill into your case. So, I mean, that's a nice little, little treat for this $18 one. 
and this one up here being 24 bucks, that's kind of a uh, yeah, kind of cheapskate, huh? So now, even if they could have put it in a Ziploc, I don't think they would have, but there's no oil in this one. And I recommend... Wait, this is where the oil should have come. Yeah, there you go. There's where the oil, look, oil bottle should have been right there. I bought a brand new one. This has never been opened. No oil bottle. We actually just opened the box. Yeah, over there. And threw it over here. So no oil in this whole unit here. But a place to put oil in it if you go buy their oil. All right, so what we're looking at, we'll get past all that, and Daniel will run out the shop and get some oil, is we're looking at the, the value difference here. Now, that one's easy to do with one hand, the old style, and I think they do still sell these. And then there's a Win that is a brand that is very similar to this. It's kind of like a cross between this one and this one. Now, I do like the Win better. W-E-N. And I do like the uh, the other tools, some of the other tools that are the knockoffs of these a little better than the Harbor Freight. Now, in this one's behalf, we're going to uh, look at the thing here. It says 18 gauge. Uh, five eighths to one and a half crown staples only. This one here will use both nailer and stapler, and I'm 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 pretty happy with this one. And this one will run one and five eighths, which I've ran that quite a few times, and uh, these will do it without a doubt. So I don't know if this is a worse or better outcome. Now, this one here. Uh, my compressor is set for, for 80 PSI. Get it focused here. And so I'm going to run these on about 10 inch centers on this stuff here. And you'll see that they just seat in about a 32nd of an inch. We'll be focused on that. That's about it. About a 32nd of an inch. So as I go a little faster, then they'll pretty much seat just barely in there because right now I'm using the full 80 and I don't want to get the compressor to kick on while I'm filming. But I do like these for the utilitarian. This one here, we haven't tried it yet. As soon as I get some oil in it, we're gonna try it out. So this one here, if the compressor kicks on, I'll pause the video, but video with you heard the compressor kick on but you know pretty rapid fire no jamming issues and Daniel has gone ahead and got this one set up now it's got the oil in it not the oil provided because they didn't so we're going to go ahead and swap these out and let him go ahead and load a rack of seven eight staples in it and we're going to compare the two and what they've got so he's hooking that one up here that's uh a little bit different. That's how they go in. Looks like it's a drop and fill, I think. No, nope. yep. A drop and fill, so drop upside down like the old arrow or staple guns. A variable difference, as you'll see here, like I said, as I started kicking along, the staples got a little less, but they're still just embedded. So, let's see, first shot, never fired before. If this thing here will do as well as. Ooh, definitely going to need less air pressure. So, yeah, that's almost a blow through. That is a lot more power. I don't know why they can't say you can't use two inch with that. So let me set the compressor. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop her down. And we'll run this thing here at about 70 and see how she does. Right about there, all right. Now, let's give it another shot. Yeah, 70's a lot better. 
Can't hardly tell it videoing it, but that is really in there. And this one, you can see the crown still, so. Um, 70s, pretty good. Probably about, about 68, 67, and we'll be there. Right about, right about there. Hey, like my old compressor. The thing's about 25 years old. So, we're gonna get over here and we're gonna give it a run. Just like we did with the other, and the compressor will probably kick on. Now let's see what we got in results. Same outcome, lower pressure, the compressor did not have to kick on. So, uses or waste more air, this one wastes more air, this one is more air efficient. Same results, same distance. In fact, I shot three more staples, uh, four actually, including that one over there, than I did with the old one. So I'm gonna give this one a little better rating in air efficiency. Power is about the same, but I think that one there could probably handle the one and five eighths as well as that one there. All right, guys, that's it. That's the banks. There it is. Probably worth 25 bucks. All right, people, y'all be good, man. I got work to do.